Just wanted to observe uh, a moment of silence uh, for the people who uh, came to an unfortunate premature end um, during the Boston Marathon and all those who were uh, injured and hurt very badly and uh, who suffer from that. There's about 180 of them or so. Anyways, I've been in kind of a bit of a somber mood since hearing all about that. Um, I'm thankful uh, that, you know, the people that I knew that were there, um, both relatives who lived there permanently, uh, as well as visitors who were doing the marathon itself, are okay. Um, I'm just, it's just, I don't know, put me in a bit of a, a sad space uh, about, um, you know, I, I can never make sense of any sort of violence, um, whether it's on a, a small scale or a big scale. It just it, it's such an anathema to me, and so I'm always very saddened when I hear about that. Um, but I think it, it struck a little bit closer to home than other uh, incidences um, because I'm a huge runner. It's a big part of my life, and I'm part of a running group, and I've run since I was in grade four. And for me, it's not just a luxury. Um, it's a way that I have um, been able to remain sane through a lot of things in my life. And, um, you know, if I just can't handle things, I just hit the pavement and, um, you know, sort out my emotions. Uh, and it's also a way for me to manage my dysphoria in terms of um, keeping uh, my figure or my shape um, as masculine as I can without medical intervention, um, and so forth. And so, yeah, running's huge. And if I think about not being able to do it, that makes me very sad. And I know that there are a lot of people who trained um, a lot of hours, put a lot of their heart and soul into running the marathon, and then to be uh, injured or um, die because of it, it just it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean... As I said, death in general doesn't make sense to me, but for a particular reason. Uh, so, um, yeah, I've been really sad, and I even cried during my run uh, for those who are not able to run anymore. Um, yeah, and in trans-related news, <laughs> I um, got uh, spoke to my doctor today over the phone, and it was interesting because I'm you know, obviously getting my ducks in a row in preparation for surgery at the end of May, uh, top surgery, and with Dr. Caramoni in Florida. And I'm very excited, um, but I also need to, uh, today was a bit of a wake-up call in terms of um, timing around that. Uh, and in particular, uh, my doctor gave me feedback around, um, you know, he's writing a letter to clear me for surgery. Um, and one of the outstanding things uh, that he, he noted of concern in terms of preparation for surgery is uh, I, he found out I was anemic um, about a month ago now, and um, I've been taking iron to, you know, address that. And uh, I was thankful that I was able to find out because with, you know, tea, you have to have blood work and all that. And so, yeah, I found out about the anemia and then immediately started a course um, of, of iron. And, and I hope that we'll address it. But if it doesn't get better, then that does jeopardize uh, surgery. And so, you know, um, there was a bit of a panic at that moment. You know, obviously, I'd like to get, rid <laughs> get this sorted. Um, as quickly as possible, but I also recognize that, um, you know, there's proper things set in place uh, for a reason. Um, and, yeah, being anemic is not the best way to go forward with surgery, uh, you know, given blood loss and stuff or the potential for it or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I kind of had to just check myself and... Um, Whenever surgery happens, that's when it'll happen, and if it needs to be delayed, I need to be okay with that, because um, I don't want to be in a state of roller, uh, emotional roller coaster, right, where um, things outside of me affect my well-being. And so I just, it was a bit of a reality check, and where I had to kind of take a bit of a deep breather, <laughs> and, uh, you know, really, um, I'm in the process of preparing myself in whatever time that is. 
And so I um, yeah, kind of went through that today. Uh, and in good news, I will most likely be um, increasing my dosage uh, of testosterone next week. So then I'll be uh, to the full dosage and hopefully the effects of which I felt very minimal <laughs> will increase and especially around my voice I'd like to have um, that go a little bit quicker than it has. I mean I've, I've noted some um, deepening but um, it's very minimal and uh, I am excited about that change and would like it to continue uh, maybe at a faster rate. Anyways, so those are the latest and greatest things. Um, and uh, I'm, yeah, super excited. Uh, also, my mom wants, or invited me to a weekend um, getaway with just her and I. And at first I was very resistant to it, but at the end of it, I actually said yes. And the reason is I wanna um, foster continued connection with her. Um, I imagine that some of it will be, you know, her raising concerns around my most recent announcement. And um, I'm not afraid of those, that sort of attempt, because I understand it as caring and loving for me. And I am also confident in enough in my own um, experience, uh, strength, uh, and... Um, what I've done so far, and I don't think a lot of outside input, um, especially if there's not any sort of desire to understand where I'm coming from, then it's misplaced. Uh, so I can put into its context and kind of uh, dismiss if necessary. So I'm just gonna go and enjoy myself and also have be open and um, ready to have tougher conversations but then also have good times too because I think all of that is necessary and important to fostering relationship and I hope she can meet me in that as well in terms of hearing from me right so anywho uh exciting things afoot and I just try to remain centered calm you know as much as possible because this is a bit of a uh, an interesting journey <laughs> and uh, I don't have I have some control like it's it's really again about me figuring out what do I have control over what I don't and then the rest I just have to kind of let go and I'm practicing that daily with this trans thing <laughs> so um, anywho it's a beautiful day and so I am gonna go outside and enjoy it so hope everybody else is doing well peace